Hey friend, if you're a user researcher or a designer working close with one, you'll know that gathering your research and turning it into a repository full of insights can be really tedious. Maybe you're using Google Sheets or some kind of color coding system or doing it completely analog and using sticky notes. Either way, gathering all of those insights together and trying to make correlations and turning that raw data into actionable key insights can be really time consuming and it can be quite a challenge and difficult for your team also to surface those insights when needed. But there is one tool that does give you the speed and efficiency that you need to turn all of your insights into a research repository, and that is Dovetail. Dovetail lets you create an entire research repository. You can document your findings, search and retrieve insights, and you can collaborate with others on your team to visualize your research and gain quicker ways to find patterns across data. Make sure you stick to the end of this video to get a link to an extended free trial of Dovetail. I've spent the last couple of weeks playing around in the tool. Let me show you. So I have my own complete workspace with a couple of projects that I'm working on. Down here, you'll see discover new insights. And these are brand new insights that have recently been published by, let's say the research team and are ready to be actually used by design into the product. If I want, I can also filter on these insights. So maybe if I'm only interested in insights based on a particular project that I'm working on, then I can filter on that too and see the latest insights from that particular project. Now, Dovetail does let you create multiple projects. So if I go over here to projects, you'll see I have two categories. One, the sample data, which came with the tool. And I also created a hypothetical Uber Eats research category. And within this, I've created two projects and you can create your own project to represent each project or, or work stream that you're working on. So let's take a look at the App Store reviews. So once I open this up, you can see here that I've got a lot of different research tools at my fingertips. Here we have the raw data. And essentially what I've done is I've just gone onto the uh, Google Play Store and the iOS App Store and just gathered a few reviews to use as my raw data. And I've categorized these into two different boards. So you can see that you can flick between here. And I've also kind of grouped them into their star rating just to kind of give this data a little bit more contextuality. Now let's open up one of these notes for a second. Within each of these, I've added a little bit of context to what this note is about. So here I've created a field for the star rating, the date of the review, the OS. You could add any other field of your choice to kind of give your data point a little bit of extra context. Then over here, you can see the full review that I've copied and pasted from the App Store. And now this is where Dovetail gets really, really cool. You can see that I've highlighted certain parts of the raw review and actually given it a tag. And now if I click over to this tag, you'll see that it will generate all of the different reviews that actually include this tag. So this is super cool because I can sort of highlight and cherry pick different parts of the raw note or the raw data and assign it to a tag, which immediately gives it a little bit more context and makes it easier for other people in my team to find. So if we go over to the tag section here, you'll see all the different tags that I've assigned to the raw data or the notes that I had. And I've also categorized these into different categories. You know, you can call these whatever you want, whatever kind of makes sense to you and the type of research that you're doing. Laying out the tags like this helps give me a sense of common issues or things that are going well, things that are not going well, and where I might need to pay a little bit more attention. You can set up your tags in a lot of different ways. If you're doing more evaluative research like user testing, then you might create a new board for each different feature that you're testing or each different part of a flow that you're getting the user to walk through. And that way you can assign tags to those different features or different parts of the flow. So it's really easy to identify which tag relates to which part of the user test. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you how you can use these tags to build your case of insights. And it's going to be really, really powerful when you can relate your insights back to the raw data. Now, if I jump over here, I want to show you the wide range of rich media that Dovetail supports. Now you can actually upload full on videos. And as you play back the video, you'll see that it actually follows along word for word, which is crazy that it does this. The other cool thing is that you can actually add tags to the video, just like we did with the raw data. And then you can jump to different sort of timestamps in the videos that have that tag assigned to that particular clip. 
this is super cool. It creates these little snippets. And if I wanted to, I could export these snippets and actually use it in my research reports. You can also highlight different parts of the video and assign it a tag, just like you could with the notes. So if I jump here, I can see this snippet that's been assigned with these two tags. And if I wanted to go even deeper, I can actually click on this tag and then see other snippets and other highlights from other interviews and other videos that have been assigned with the same tag. So here is an example of a snippet that's playing that's been assigned with this working with other roles tag. Not only does tagging and highlight become super useful when it comes to video, it's also a lot more encouraging and convincing when it comes to actually sharing these insights with your stakeholders, linking to an actual snippet or a video clip of when and when this insight took place and having that raw data there available is going to be extremely convincing. Now I want to jump into bringing all of this together into insights, but before we do so, let's take a minute to talk about why insights are so important. Insights allows you to build a case that's packed with evidence that is super valuable for helping get your team on board and get buy-in from your stakeholders. As a product designer, it's really, really helpful to have this repository of research insights. Whenever I'm starting on a new project, before I dive into doing my own research or trying to get new research done, I'll always check the repository first to see if there's any past research done on this topic or any sort of adjacent research that I might be able to use to help inform what I'm working on now. Think of it as kind of like a database that's full of these really insightful insights and takeaways and findings that have all been done through research about the product or the tool or the project that you're working on. That means that whenever you're making a design decision or trying to convince stakeholders or get somebody on board, you can always use these research to back up those decisions or back up any of your arguments. So with that in mind, let's take a look at how Dovetail does this. Dovetail lets you embed references into an insight, connecting it back to the raw data. I have a couple of insights here that I've already published that you would have seen earlier on the homepage here at the very beginning. Let's create one together. So I'm going to click on create and I know that I have a tag related to speed. So I'm going to make this one about speed of delivery. Maybe let's add a nice cover to it. Dovetail has a really, really nice integration with Unsplash. So I'm going to search speed and maybe let's go with this one for now. I'm going to give it a bit of a description so it has some context. So now let's add all of our references and our raw data and notes that have been tagged with speed. So I'm going to do that by clicking on note and then find them in the highlight section and select the ones that are related to speed. These three here and then insert these three references. So now you can see that it's really, really easy for me to back up my insight here with actual data points. If I wanted to, I could also add here any additional quotes or media. Maybe I have video snippets or audio snippets. I would add that here as well. But let's just stick with this for now. And let's say I actually wanted to publish this so that it shows up on the homepage for all of my team members. I would publish this here. And then now if I were to go back to home, you would see this new insight here on the homepage. So now that we have all of our insights published here on the homepage, it's also really easy to turn this into a share out to the team. Instead of creating a customized research report, which I have spent hours doing in Google Slides, Dovetail will actually bring all of this together and turn it into a report for you. So to do that from the insights page, click on share in the top right, and this will generate a share link to your research report. If you wanted to, you could turn this into a public link. I've actually made this one public, so there's a link in the description below. Now this, I think as a researcher, would save me so much time instead of having to pull all the raw data from Google Sheets and Post-it Notes and put them into a consolidated Google Slides research report. Dovetail kind of just takes care of all of that for you. As long as you've sort of set up your tagging system right and are filtering on things properly, you can pull anything into these insights and turn them into a very, very compelling repository. So that is Dovetail. What I really like about this tool is that it completely adapts to your research process. So they give you all the power to do any filtering you want, any tagging system that you want. You can add even your own hex codes and color codes if you really wanted to. The foundation is there and you can kind of build your own research process within the tool. 
It also allows you to really quickly discover patterns in unstructured data, which can be really hard to do from things like spreadsheets and post-it notes. Lastly, as a designer, I really like the usability of this tool and the UX. I think it has some really nice little UI touches and little quirks. The Unsplash integration, for example, is really nice. Being able to customize colors. As a designer, that just makes me really happy and I like that it can sort of flex to my own taste and my own preferences. When it comes to pricing, Dovetail does have a team plan, but they've been very, very generous to give you, my viewers, an extended 60-day free trial. Usually the trial is only seven days, so you're getting a lot of nice extra time to kind of give the tool a go. Make sure you use the link in the description to get the 60-day free trial. This is unique to my viewers and my channel, so make sure you get that link to get that free trial. All right, if you managed to give Dovetail a try, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you what you think about the tool. If not, then I'd love to hear what your current research insight gathering repository process is. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in another video. Thanks friends so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.